Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 11 of Direwolf20's Let's Play Enigmatica series, uh, where today I'm just chilling at my base. Uh, last episode we started working on tankers. My goal was to get some nice weaponry. So I made myself a pretty awesome manual and sword, and today I want to augment it as much as possible with the goal of having things like looting, um, having things like sharpness, having things like lots of damage so I can one-shot most things. Like, my goal was to make this pretty darn good. Um, now that said, I want to talk about, uh, looting, because I, I figured out how looting works. It, it, I forget that in this version of Tinkers, they added the modifiers to JEI, which is awesome, which means you can definitely look this up, and they've changed how luck works. So, since my Let's Play, what was that, a couple weeks ago, the new version of Tinkers changes how some of the progression works. Instead of just throwing a bunch of lapis on the thing and calling it a day, uh, there's, there's more effort involved in getting things. So, first off, uh, for luck one, you need to find a cornflower which was one of the hardest things for me to get, and I will show you how I did that in a moment. Uh, for lock two, we're going to need a golden carrot, some gold, and some ender pearls. I hope I have two ender pearls left. If not, we're going to go hunting with a luck base sword. Uh, and then finally, we're going to need some rose gold, a rabbit's foot, uh, and a name tag, and diamonds. Now, um, remember last episode when I found this tower over here? If you remember, I opened a chest and there was a name tag in it, and I said, I don't need that name tag. Well, it turns out I needed that name tag, so I popped over there and grabbed it. Also, there's a nice little desert behind me, so I was able to find some rabbits in there. And then I went exploring for cornflowers, which you can find in plains biomes. And you can see I went all the way down here, uh, and here is a plains biome that we found. And here, in fact, if you mouse over it, you can see there were cornflowers here. So I, I absolutely found cornflowers. I, it took me a little bit of exploring. I did stop along the way and investigate astral temples that I found while I was traversing the terrain. Um, there was a couple astral temples that I ran into and I bookmarked. I even, I, well, I, I also went north, to be honest with you. I, I went up here first. So you can see I explored a little bit of this area some more. Um, you know, there's there's a few things to check out. There's, there's definitely some towers. I want to do some exploration stuff in the coming episodes and see what's out and about in this world. So that's why I'm kind of preparing uh, by by getting a nice weapon ready. I wouldn't mind maybe amping up some armor a little bit better and also traversal stuff. I want to figure out how to get around the world faster. Um, the sash from Batania is an old staple, always works out really nice, but that involves, you know, jumping into Batania real quick. I might do like I typically do in the previous episodes and seasons that I've done, which is just like do a quick and dirty, let's get enough mana to create a sash and call it a day, um, and then jump more into Batania later in the series. Um, because I really want to do exploration, but I really want to get some of the good stuff. And in addition, the other options are slime boots, uh, or I could look into Ars Magica, or Ars Nouveau, for that matter. Uh, there's a nice kind of flight-ish type spell. Um, it's it's basically like leap plus slow fall, um, and that kind of is a nice spammable way to traverse the terrain. So we'll have to see what I wind up deciding to do for a terrain traversal, because I definitely want to do some exploration, but running around at base Minecraft speed is a little bit slow. So, you know, there's that. So let's get started in uh, augmenting our tool here. Now, how am I for Ender Pearls? Do we have one or two by chance? We've got seven. Wow. How do I have so many Ender Pearls? I don't remember how I got that many, but I'm not going to complain. I'm going to be very happy about that. Um, <clears throat> and let's get one more of you and three of you. And uh, there's a few things I want to prep. So I'm going to throw in here my two ancient debris, these three and these three. Um, and we're, for the ancient debris, we're going to have to swap out the stuff. So we'll do that once all the other golds and stuff melt. So this should get me the rose gold that I'm going to need here. Molten ingots gold, some rose gold. Perfect. And then let's do a quick swap out of the blaze guy. Boom. Just so we can heat up the ancient debris. How am I for time, by the way? Oh, I'm at three hours and 24 minutes. How cool is that, huh? Perfect. So I've got... Um, some netherite. I've got one ingot of netherite, some rose gold, and some blood. Perfect. Okay, cool. So, note, um, I've got netherite now, which is cool. I really wanted that. Uh, where's my ingot cast? Boom. Let's get netherite into an ingot form. 
Sweet. Another right ingot. That's why I put the four gold in there, by the way. Uh, and then rose gold, we're going to want those four ingots. Uh, but I, you know, I grabbed manual in by mistake. Eh, it doesn't matter. I should empty this out anyway. Uh, but that's the reason I put the four gold in there. Because you can totally smelt your netherite ingots in there. Um, the, the netherite blocks that I the ancient debris will do, um, will double. So two ancient debris in the tinker smeltery is four scrap. Uh, so that, you know, was pretty cool. So I need these rose golds. I'm going to need some diamonds and a few other things to get what I need to get. Let's get a few diamonds here. And uh, I want to apply this in the right order, basically. So first things first, uh, let's also get this stuff, a quickie crafting table. Because I know I'm going to need a couple blocks of lapis. Okay, so first things first. I want two of you, the one of you, and a couple copper. Knew I was forgetting something. That's how it goes. That's always how it goes. Hooray! Luck! Nice. Okay, cool. And then for luck two, we're going to need a golden carrot, two gold, and two ender pearls. Okay, not a big deal. So that's three gold ingots. And do we have carrots? Please tell me I have carrots. I gotta have carrots, right? Like, there's no chance I haven't found carrots yet, are there? Is there a chance I haven't found carrots yet? I very much have not found carrots yet. Um... So there's carrots, which we can... Maybe I didn't get carrots. I thought I, I, I kind of just assumed stupidly that I've got carrots. Uh, maybe we can trade an emerald for it if we make a market. That's cool. That's cool. We could trade an emerald for it if we make a market. Which is just some red wool. I think we could pull that off, right? I think we could pull that off. I think we can make this happen. I can do this. I can do this. I believe in me. All right, I've got some wool. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna need a bigger one of these chests, but yeah, we'll get to that eventually, I'm sure. Okay, so if I remember Mr. Market Friend gets a little villager to come stock things. <whistles> Hello, weathered salesman. <laughs> uh, cool. So I just need an emerald to get carrot seeds. And that, eh, not bad. I mean, I am not super great on emeralds at the moment, but you know what? Whatever. We'll just do it. Sweet. I'm going to go bone meal this and get the carrot that I need, and I'll be right back. So you might be wondering why I didn't just break grass until I got carrot seeds. I've broken a lot of grass in the series so far, and in fairness, I have voided some of the seeds I've gotten. But I mean, I expect that I would have had carrot seeds in my uh, food chest had I actually gotten carrot seeds from breaking grass. Maybe you do, and I just, you know, have voided them. But meh, it's fine. Not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. This is how you golden carrot? Yes, good. Good job. Good jarb. All right, I think this is the pattern to go with. Nice. Luckier. Beautiful. And then the final modifier that we're going to want is luckiest, which is a rabbit's foot, two rose gold, and a name tag. And I should have those because I, I hunted a few rabbits. And there you are, rabbit's foot. And the name tags came from that thing that we did. The two rose gold. We should be cool for luckiest. I don't know if the actual order in which you place things matters, but I guess we'll find out, right? Luckiest. Nice. All right, cool. Now I want to throw a diamond on there. And that's going to... The purposes of the diamond is it gives you plus one attack damage. Okay. 
Now I want to note something here. So 11.1 here, if I wanted to put the netherite on, I need to put diamond first. Okay, cool. So let's do that. That gives me 11.1. .1. Now if I wanted to put you on here, that would give me 12.1. But what if I instead put sharp first? Right, so this would be 12.11 if I put the netherite ingot on now. Netherite ingot increases damage by 10%. So my question is, if I add sharpness first and then netherite, am I going to get more damage? I think yes. Need at least one upgrade slots to add this modifier. Really? Really? Is that how it works? I mean, I can do writable. I just want to see this on the tooltip here. Sharp. Max five. So I can put five levels of sharp on here, but each level needs an upgrade slot? Is that right? That kind of stinks. Um, so for, for the writable modifiers to add the upgrade slots, um let's review that real quick so a music disc will add an upgrade slot uh any kind of head or skull will add an upgrade slot an end crystal will add an upgrade slot it says brings back one upgrade slot i don't know what that means and then a book and quill will do that and isn't there a way to convert I think there was wasn't it so book and quill head let's see do i have any heads yet probably not but i can probably do the book and quill thing because i got three of these papers um i've got one of you we've got feathers do we have ink sacks yet oh, we have wither skeleton skull fragments we need nine of those for a wither skeleton skull though so that's a bummer Close, but no cigar. All right, so mystical black flower into black dye. Should be cool. And then I should be able to get the quill book. Oh, as a matter of fact, that's kind of cool. Ooh, nifty. All right, but yeah, you and then book and quill. And that's cool. Perfect. Yeah, I guess this can go in my miscellaneous chest. I don't think I need my diamonds on me anymore, so no sense in carrying them around. So there's your book and quill. Um, end crystals are an eye of ender and a ghast here. I don't think we've gotten ghast tiers yet, but I could probably whip one up pretty quickly, right? I've got everything else I need. Let me go into the nether real fast and see if I can get lucky with a ghast here. I do have luckiest. I'm in, I'm in trouble here, guys. I may have encountered a few ghasts. Bad time for a lag spike, Minecraft. Are these bees attacking me? I feel like they are. They have the red eye thing going on, so that's not ideal. Uh -huh. Taking a not insignificant amount of damage. Oh, withered away. Rip. I am luckily not far from my nether portal, at least. I mentioned that you can use wheat on this thing, right? I think I mentioned that. Totally. I'll tell you what, it definitely feels like there's more of these dudes. Hey, four? Did I just get four of those? How did that happen? I mean, I did return to sender. That doesn't apply the luckiest, right? Like, it doesn't apply fortune when you return to sender, does it? I don't think so. There's a lot more gas. I feel like there's far more gas than I'm used to seeing around here. That's what I feel like. All right, I'm gonna get, I need to get a mob head and I've gotten quite a few of these wither skeleton skull fragments. So if I can get one or two more. I only need one more Wither Skeleton Skull Fragment, and then I'm good. Got him. 
Because I've got six now back at the base, which is awesome. Which is awesome. Which means I can now make a Wither Skeleton Skull, which I can then use, Spooky Scary Skeleton, <coughs> to make an upgrade. Cool. So now I've got three extra upgrade slots that I can do. I'm sure I'm right. Uh, let's see if I'm right about that. So if I come over here and put you in there, that gives me one upgrade. That gives me two upgrades, and then I need the Eye of Ender and Glass to make the thingy, and then that's another upgrade, right? Uh, so, duh, 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 one of you, one of you, Eye of Ender. Um, this and these, is that right? Yeah. Three upgrades available, nice. Um, now I definitely want to get the netherite upgrade on there. So I, I would really like one more, but I think the only other upgrade option I have at this point uh, is the dragon, right? But I think I can convert modifiers into... Um, so requires a modifier. Let me look for that icon there. I think it might be gilded. I think that might be it, actually. Harmonious adds. Da, 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 da. Wasn't there one that converted? Let's see. Hey, here's the tooltip: trades an ability slot for two upgrade slots. Yes, that's what I want. What I want to do before I do that is I want to make sure there's no other ability slots that I want because I already use an ability for luck, so that's cool. Um, we're just going to see, there's nothing here that's like jumping out at me that I'm like, yeah, I want this to be an ability, right? Although this is kind of nice, but it does require Dragon's Breath and Netherite, but I can get more abilities. That's what Draconic does, is it gives you a new, another ability slot. So if I get a Dragon Head, I can always get another ability slot. Um, and a Music Disc, by the way, is another way to get an upgrade. If, I don't think I have any of those though. I'll go check that tower real quick to see if there's any in there. I forget. I usually skip them, um, but we'll see. Any other abilities here that are jumping out at me? I'm looking at this little icon to see if it's a pink diamond. That means it's an ability. These are upgrades, which are two different ways to upgrade things, right? So I'm going to say the golden apple is the way to go. I like the golden apple plan. I apparently don't have any apples, but I'm going to go cut down some trees and I will get an apple. I have an enchanted golden apple that I found from exploring, but I don't want to use that. So I'm going to go cut down some trees. I need more wood anyway. Time for a new one of these anyway, or at least an upgrade to it. That should be cool. Yeah, why not? Okay, cool. And then eight of you for the upgrade slot modification. And I also wanted to double check to see if I have, by chance, any music discs. I don't think so. Have I run into any music discs yet? Those are pretty uncommon. What I might do is pop over to that tower. And this is where I found in this chest is where, oh, there is a music disc in here. Well, how perfect is that? This was also the name tag, by the way, it was in there. So that's sweet. All right, so now we can come over here and we can give you the music disc, which gives me another upgrade slot. And then the golden apple, which will take away an ability slot and give me two upgrade slots. So this should allow me to get up luck five and the netherite upgrade and still have one more upgrade to apply if I want. How great is that? Cool. Or not luck five, sharper five. That's what I meant. Cool. All right. So that is sharper two. Sharpest. Sharpester and sharpestest. No more than five levels of sharp. Okay, so that got me up to 16.1. So remember, the netherite ingot before gave me plus one damage. Now it's going to give me plus 1.5 damage. So using your netherite ingot after your quartz definitely gives you a benefit. Now, I haven't tested if I applied netherite and then quartz if it would wind up being 17.6 still, 
but we'll see. I just wanna make sure there's no other upgrades that I can apply to this thing that will increase its damage before I apply the netherite ingot. I want the netherite ingot to be the last upgrade I apply. All right, yeah, I think I'm good. So that's gonna give me a pretty nice sword right now. Look at that, not bad at all. 17.61 attack damage. All right, I like it. Now I think the, I, I could throw a redstone upgrade on there if I wanted to, but I think I'm good for now. I think I'm good for now. I think so. So yeah, uh, awesome weapon, get. I'm very pleased. Very, very pleased. I think we're cool with awesome weapon time. So I don't need this Osmium Sword any longer. That should be fine to get rid of my, my Mortar and Pest. I don't need no mores. You guys can go away. All right, let's talk about running fast. Because I wouldn't mind a little bit of running fast and maybe even like a little bit of flight going on. So I think, hmm. So if we were to jump into, usually I go the, the, the route of... Yeah, Batania. Auto magically ritual brazier turrets. I think there's a quest in here. Spell practice flight. Smelting lightning. So it's not too far down the path. We could maybe think about Ars Nouveau. And it gives us a novice spell book. That's cool. So Ars Nouveau as an early game way of getting around. Because it gives me that kind of leap ability like you would get with Blood Magic. Is Blood Magic in the pack? It is. So that's, you know, you know I love my Air Sigil, so that's another option. Um, so this gives you, like, pseudo flight, this route. Um, but then there's also, like, the basic gist of Batania, which we could, you know, do a very simple and straightforward, like, let's get a sash kind of thing going on. Um, with a very quick... Like, boom, 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 endo flame, little bit of mana, get her done kind of thing. And get the sash going. Because I think all we need for a sash is a runic altar. So we should very quickly be able to get into a sash. And that would be a nice... I always love just having that run a little bit faster mechanic. I always love that. Alright, so I feel like even if I was going to get the spell from Ars Nouveau to be able to move around the world faster... Because again, goal exploration. I want to go check out some of those towers. I want to go see some things. Getting there quicker is an ideal solution for me. Uh, so let's do Batania Sash real fast. So like I've done in the past, I'm going to just power through some early game Batania stuff, get to the point where we've got enough mana to create a Sash and have a mana tablet so that we can, you know, zip around a little bit. And that's kind of like a quick and dirty goal here for us. So let's bada bing, bada boom through this. So we're going to need some uh, flowers, which will be cool. Um, I'm going to make some Mystical Fertilizer, which shouldn't be too hard to do given that I've got a bunch of bone blocks, which I can quickly turn into a healthy amount of bone meal. Uh, and then for dye, we've got a bunch of lapis that we can do this with, right? So boom, boom, fertilizer, boom, boom. How great is that? Okay, cool. So that's not as much floral fertilizer as I would have wanted, but maybe it'll be enough. We'll find out. So we're gonna hit all these buttons and then boom. Quests completed. Hooray! So I don't know if that's all the Batania flowers or not. I didn't even check. Uh, but if we just look at our inventory count, I can say with relative certainty that we've got 16. So yes, we've got them all, right? Because 9 plus 7 equals 16, and that's all the colors of the rainbow. The Minecraft rainbow, at least. Uh, so let's get a quickie Batania chest here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Let's see how quickly we can burn through. How did you even make a button? I don't even know. I don't even know how that happened. I couldn't tells you. But we're gonna, you can be my Batania area real quick. Cool. And all the flowers go into there. We're gonna definitely want some mystical white petals. We're gonna want our shears so that we can, you know, choose which flowers we want lots of. So shears ready to go here. Uh, boom. And let's just make sure we also complete the quests because a flower pouch is nice and hey, extra shears can't go wrong. Not bad. Boom, boom, paper, sure. Flower pouch. I rarely use the flower pouch if I'm being honest because usually I just shears all the stuff, but eh, it's cool. And a few extra floral fertilizer. Not bad. Not bad at all. So then we come over here. We do this, 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 this. Convert these into petals. 
plant them. One, two, three, four, five, six. They mine. Cool. Duplicate that process. Because you always need a decent amount of whites. And that's good enough for me. All right, cool. So you go in there. Uh, and then we need the petal apothecary. Right? Quick and dirty. So we're going to want some cobblestone, which I believe we are surprised to find we may not have. Um, can you petal apothecary out of... Yeah, I think you need, like, legit cobblestone. I don't even know if I have anything that's cobblestone-y. I have some regular stone, which I can convert to cobblestone. That work? Sure, why not? So, petal apothecary? Yes. Grab us some seeds. And that was a task. So we want a pure daisy to go along with our next quest line. No big. Uh, I'm also going to get some water over here. See how slow I walk? See how much I don't want to walk slowly anymore? So I very much want to try out my new sword. And we're going to go do that right now. Can I one-shot this creeper? I don't see why not. Boom! Hello. Hello, one-shot creeper. How are you? That was cool. Alright, anyway, back to work. Uh, so I've got my two waters. And you guys are going to chill right next to my petal apothecary. Told you, we're quick and dirtying this like nobody's business. Right? Cool. Okay. And then... We want some smooth stone and some wood so that we can get our basic materials, right? So wood. And I know we've got some clean stone. Is that what somebody in the comments recommended I call it? Ugh, this does not feel right. It's smooth stone. I've been calling it smooth stone for 10 years. For 10 years, folks, I've been calling this smooth stone. And Mojang's like, you know what? We're going to add a block called smooth stone. Mojang, please. Killing me. Killing me. I should fill in this hole um, in a minute. For now, we'll just, like I said, quick and dirty. Um, some stuff here. And don't forget. Do 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 do. Isn't it great? It just plays a little song for you to let you know your tick accelerating. It's the best. It's so good. Thank you, Tech Accelerators. You're the greatest. Uh, so that completed the Petal Apothecary, a rare Batania loot box in Farmer's Delight. Ooh, pasta with mutton chops? That sounds good. Ooh, pasture seeds. Those are nice, actually. That's kind of cool. Man, look at that. That's like full saturation. A hearty plate of food will keep you nourished for a long time. I agree. What's up, zombified pig man? Sorry, I've got a new weapon and I just gotta use it. All right, and another rare Batania loot box, which got me, it looks like more living rock, maybe? I think? Maybe? Perhaps? Ah, uh, cool. Now, Mana Pool, Wand of the Forest, and Mana Spreader all sound like a good time. So, you know what? Yeah, let's make a quick crafting table over here. Doesn't hurt. Cool. Uh, and we'll do... I always like Cyan. Cyan's a cool color. Wand of the Forest. Mana Pool. And a spreader needs a piece of gold, doesn't it? Yes. Mana spreader. Beautiful. Cool. So let's see what quest rewards we get from this. A rare Batania loot box, which gave me a cacophonium. All right, that's cool. I forget what you do. Something, apparently. Uh, and then another cacophonium. 
Lucky me. RNG has me today. All right, that wasn't a cacophony. I think that was living wood. See, that's what I don't like about I don't know what I got. I have no idea what loots I got. Um, let's use this guy. Now, I think shift left click to bring it back to the Akashic Tome. And then I can open up the Lexic of Britannia to be like, hey, this guy. Cool. It's very much a Soren kind of thing. All right. Uh, now we're going to want probably to make Endo Flames. Yep. So two brown, a gray, and a red. Two brown, a gray, and a red. I'm probably going to want to uh, shears these guys as well. So let me come back after I've crafted a few of these. Okay, two brown, a gray, and a red, go. A light gray, whoops. I, I've done this enough, you would expect I know what I was doing by now, but that's a very bold assumption on your part that you should feel silly about having. So light gray, light gray, my bad. There we go. So I'm going to put these here. I'm going to do that. Scoop, scoop, empty, drop. Does that work? Cool. I like this pattern. How are we for, yeah, we're good for a few more. Yeah, we're good. How about a dozen? Does that sound like a arbitrarily large enough number? And then the extra flowers can go in there. Sweet. All right, good, good, good. Uh, I might want to upgrade this chest because obviously it has a bunch of junk in it already, but we'll get there. Um, Cool. So then we're going to want our spreader, our wand at the ready. We've got our pool. We've got these guys. And I'm going to get a stack of coal so we can start generating mana. We're going to have to go mining again at some point, aren't we? So what if we put you here with you facing this way? Make sure that you're bound properly. And then there's no reason. And you're all bound correctly? Excellent. Have fun. Mana, go! Cool. All right, so that gives me an open crate from Batania and a Mana Seer monocle, which is a good time. I do appreciate the Mana Seer monocle. That's awesome. All right. Uh, and then there's a bunch of branching stuff down here, but I want to get the Runic Altar first. Because my goal is the Sash. Uh, and that's going to require a Rune of Earth and Air, four Leather, and a Mana Steel Ingot. So let's get ourselves another Spreader. Uh, and we'll be back in a minute once I craft all what I need. Okay. So you guys made some mana. You're going to make some more. You should be enough to make a Diamond now. Good. And Iron Ingot while I'm at it. Thank you. Looking good, which means we can make ourselves an altar, which is cool. Okay, so that means your complete rare Batania loot box got me more living wood. Uh, I wanted to apply this upgrade real quick so that I could throw some extra junk in here that I don't need necessarily at the moment. All looks good. I'm going to put my shears away. I'll still hang on to this stuff because I need it for a minute. Um, we are definitely running out of time for this episode, aren't we? But I want to finish... So we're going to finish. Ooh, I got Engineer's Goggles. Well, that's cool. That's neat. Uh, just cosmetic item. All right. And then I got, ooh, a bow tie. Don't mind if I do. Looking fancy. All right. Then uh, we want to have our spreader going into our runic altar. Cool. And we're ready to craft a couple runes. I spy mushrooms. All right, quick and dirty rune of earth. 
I was gonna say air, and then I realized, no, it's earth that I'm making at this moment. Nice. And then we need air, which is string, wool, and feather. Is that right? String, wool, and feather. String, feather, carpet, carpet. Uh, so we've got enough string, we've got feather. Uh, one, two for the carpet. Did I have carpet already? Don't think so. If I did, it's somewhere that I don't remember. Cool. All right. And then uh, we also need more iron. I'm going to need two more iron. We are so... Come on. Don't get stuck in things, direwolf. I'm really in a rush here. That is not helpful. Okay, so you're good. Cool. Okay, so doot, 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 doot. And that's cool. All right, and that should be Batania Sash time. Good. All right, wrapping up the episode because I am running super late. Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time and start exploring this crazy world that we live in because there's a bunch of cool stuff to find, I suspect. All right, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.